Good evening, I'm Rob Johns. And I'm Erica Sargent. But we begin with a story we broke and now has huge ramifications for the city. Sure does. Nearly $5 million will be paid to the family of Philip Coleman. He's the man dragged from his Chicago police cell after a taser was used on him. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini first reported on this case and forced the video to be released. And now this, Dave. Rob and Erica. Philip Coleman was a University of Chicago graduate with a clean record, no trouble with police. A mental breakdown led his family to call for help. But Coleman was taken into custody in 2012 instead of being taken to a hospital. A taser was used on him repeatedly. Then an officer dragged him from his cell. A judge in the family's lawsuit called this excessive force. Coleman later died in custody. His death is not going to be in vain. He's going to leave a legacy. He's already done that. But it's up to us to keep these people honest. The culture is unacceptable for us to continue to have to look at these types of cases, look at these videos. No one wants to see these. These are horrible. And you want to make sure that you do right by the families. Alderman Sawyer said, in general, firing and prosecuting bad police officers would be a better deterrent than these types of settlements. In this case, the Independent Police Review Authority originally cleared the officers of wrongdoing, but after we forced the video's release, IPRA launched a new investigation, which is now ongoing. April 13th will be the final city council vote on this settlement. A taser was used on him about 16 times. So IPRA, we know there have been changes in leadership at, at IPRA, but it, it, it has to be a little disheartening that cleared of any wrongdoing and then you fight to have this video released and then now they're singing a different tune. Exactly, and that's why the family fought and fought for answers and this day had to come. They hope IPRA takes it seriously and finds something. All right, All right. Dave, enough. thank you.